Hey, welcome everybody. Um, this is phase two, uh, the very beginnings of what I'm doing with my Colt Combat Commander. So uh, obviously let's go ahead and start the process of safety checking just to make sure that we're all in good shape. Okay, so we're clean on that. So what I've done uh, myself is that there was actually a part that you can buy from Wilson Combat that has a uh, called the 100B checkered front strap in blue. And I have actually installed this myself. Um, you only need to pull the grips off and then pin one side under the grips and then pin another one under the other side of the grips, kind of bend it over and then screw them down. <clears throat> it is really grippy. It's really grabby. And to be honest, uh, I heard another reviewer say it kind of looks like it's something that the factory might have done. So, But it's, it's uh, grippier than a lot of the factory ones that I've seen. And, uh, and it, it was $8. It was $8. So, all right, a couple things that I've ordered. Uh, these Colt grips are nice, but they are cheese ball. They say Colt on them. And, and there's nothing wrong with that, but I have a Wilson uh, Combat set of grips that are coming that are kind of in this color, but they have the Starburst pattern and a little Wilson Combat medallion. I've also received uh, three magazines. These magazines are one by Wilson Combat. And then this is one by Ed Brown. Ed Brown is known for doing uh, 9 millimeter 1911 magazines. And if you see this one, the follower has been coded. In Wilson Combat, the follower is not coded. And then in the Colt, the follower has been coded. Now, interesting, the first time that I actually made a video, I had an issue with this particular magazine not locking open. And now it does every time. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> so I spent... You know, sixty dollars on new magazines, and uh, um, you know, uh, and these ones, these ones all lock back just fine. You know, no problems at all. Um, so I mean, it's it's been nice. But now I have three magazines, so uh, that's enough for a, a carry rig. All right, so I've ordered a couple new parts for this. Obviously, what I have now gotten is the AD eight twenty one S. Uh, this is the plunger tube assembly made of the bulletproof materials, so that's going to help go in here. I have also ordered, there's some O-rings. I might use these in the less bare, but these are just some grip screw O-rings. I have ordered the bulletproof thumb safety. Now, people might say, well, the Colt thumb safety is fine. It really is, but I just wanted to have a full set of uh, matching um, bulletproof uh, controls on this gun. This is the Bulletproof Magazine release, and this is the 673B. It also has the lock and the spring in it, so I'm excited to try that. It's a little bit taller than this one, and that's probably going to be necessary um, when I have the other grips that may not have the cutout on here. And so the next one is the slide release. Now, uh, this is a Bulletproof slide release. I'm going to keep all of the, this factory slide release, but I actually believe that this may be the slide release to a 45. That being said, it is holding the magazines open now. So uh, that being said, I, it's, if I'm just replacing these with redundant parts, that's fine. There will some combat parts. Then I'm gonna have this trigger shoe dropped in to see if I can have a little bit of that trigger slop um, <clears throat> removed. So that's where we're at. The next thing uh, I will have is with these parts installed by a local gunsmith who's a friend of mine, and uh, we'll be back at another time. Bye. 